What's up, Cancer? It's your girl, Kelly, coming straight at you for the Queen Tarot Bee in Boston. I am going to get the boring stuff out of the way real quick. Um, if you need me for a personal tarot reading, all information is in the box below. That will be my email donation information to hold your spot once you've set an appointment. Um, also down there will be my Facebook Messenger ID as well as my Skype ID. Please don't contact me on either or until you've set up an appointment because I'm just going to ask you to email me so I can send you a list of prices and give you the donation information. Moving on. Um, this can be from Cancer's point of view or cross watchers. So even though I say Cancer a lot, it could very well play out from your perspective. So I'm going to say that throughout the um, reading and just know that this is a collective general reading. It can't apply to absolutely everybody. Um, I try to get the most um, collective energy that I can, but I can't read every single person. So take what you can, leave what you can, throw the rest out. Um, we are still having the contest of and it will continue on, but I'm going to say it every single time for the new people subscribing, which I'm so grateful for. And I love all of you um, for the personal readings, the donations to keep this channel going. You guys make this channel and you make me get up every day and have a reason. So thank you. Um, yeah, that's it, I think, for the boring information. So let's get reading because cancer... <sighs> For you guys this month, I'm really, really feeling that um, there's a bit of spying going on on your behalf. Um, you're watching a, a new start with someone that you care about who's moved on to someone else. And you're fondly remembering um, memories with this person. You're fondly remembering them now. So um, again, I feel like with water signs right now, it is a matter of um, not expressing yourself and cancer. You're very, very good at not expressing yourself. When you're upset, you go into your little crabby shell and you don't come out. <laughs> and if the person that's offended you or hurt you doesn't know that they've hurt you or offended you, you're really not being fair and giving them the chance to apologize and make things right. And so if they don't know that you're hurt, how can they in turn say, I'm sorry, and how can I do better? So, you know, I'm not bagging on you guys in any way. I'm just trying to relay the message that the dead are giving me today in learning how to come out of your crabby shell, express yourself in a way that you're heard. Not There's a difference between listening and hearing, okay? You want to be heard and listened to. And so it's how can you come out of your little crabby shell as cute as you are with your little click, click, click and be heard and listened to about how you're feeling. Now, I know expressing yourself is not something that you guys do. Again, I just went through this with Scorpio and, um, you know, being that they're a uh, brother, sister, water sign, you guys for being so emotional, you don't find the right ways to um, express yourselves. And so for this, I really, really want you to think about if someone doesn't know you're hurt, how can they fix it? How can they fix that part of your heart that's hurt and get your trust back? No matter what they've done, they may have said something that um, rubbed you the wrong way. They may have done something that rubbed you the wrong way and you ran in your shell, but now they don't know how to fix it. And so they see that you're acting differently but they have no idea. And the more they approach you, the further in your shell you go. And it's like, they don't know how to fix it. And so with you watching this person, I feel like, um, sorry, I'm uncomfortable. <laughs> um, without you having told them what upset you, I feel like there was a certain amount of frustration there in a recent breakup. And you're seeing this new start with somebody, but you're wishing that you could have that person back because you do, you miss them. You formed an emotional attachment to them. But at the same time, that person is gone because they didn't understand how to relate to you. Um, and it may be that, you know, you manipulated it a bit without 
even realizing it. Not, I'm not saying that you guys are horrible and you're manipulators and you're blah, blah, blah. But it may be that you manipulated it by not telling them what was wrong, thinking that they would just continue to come and try to find a way to fix it or apologize. But they didn't know. And I can feel that this person had a lot of confusion and hurt when they left. They didn't know what they did wrong. Um, that's not for all of you. That could be for a big collective or it could be for a small collective. Um, like I said, take the parts that fit, leave the parts that don't and throw the rest out. So the question here is, um, Cancer, is how to work on stating out loud in the moment. And if not in the moment, at least somewhere along the line before you lose that relationship, you hurt my feelings. And the worst thing about that is that it is so hard, even as an Aries, it is very, very difficult to, in the moment, tell someone, hey, you hurt my feelings. And this is why. And you know what? Sometimes even as Aries, we just react harshly and we don't say what's bothering us. And I've actually faced that recently without telling my twin flame how he hurt me. How does he fix it or upset me or whatever, you know, it was, I don't even remember what it was now because we've since talked about it and it's fine. Um, but people aren't mind readers and learning how to say it in the moment is not only difficult, but it's very, very out of character for you guys. So I'm, that's what I'm feeling this month. And this person is definitely a soulmate. I feel a soulmate energy. Um, so let me get started with the cards because I'm interested to see what the cards have to say about this situation. Um, but remember that we are still doing this contest while I am shuffling here. Um, we are still doing this contest. Um, whoever's video has the most views and congratulations, Scorpio for getting 34,000 views last month. Um, whoever's video has the most views will be winning a one hour free reading. I will choose someone from the comments or my other half, um, Rachel will choose someone. Um, she chose Scorpio yesterday and she's asked, she will ask, or I will ask that, um, that you email me and you will get a 60 minute free reading. You have a certain amount of time to answer and then we choose someone else, but we're fair about it. So the question here and, oh, look at that. Speaking of little crabbies, there you are with your secret, with your secretive nature, with your hard to reach little crabby shell. Um, I just shuffled and look, guys, there you are again. I just shuffled this while we were talking. And so I really um, want you guys to think about what I'm saying. Um, you know, if the person doesn't know that they've hurt you, how can they fix it? So I'm not trying to be harsh here. Um, I understand you guys are very... Um, very sensitive in nature. Actually, um, Rachel, my other half is a cancer and we get along great. You know, um, she states what's on her mind. And if it's something that I've done, actually, I don't think I've insulted her yet. Good on me, uh, with my Aries sun and Aries rising and my Leo moon and Leo and Mars. I've done pretty good. Um, how do they fix it? And yes, I see a twin. I mean, I'm not a twin flame. I'm still half asleep and working on coffee number one. So you guys can imagine what this reading's going to look like. Um, I do see here that you have a soulmate energy. So this could be a karmic lesson, a karmic partner um, that either just left your life that you need to learn this lesson from because they may have walked away from not understanding where you're coming from, not understanding why you were upset. Um, yes, it appears that they walked away because you were closed off. And again, there's that moon. They walked away from all this work you put in because 
to them, you're appearing closed off and it may be past hurts. You're closed off and you never made an offer toward them to tell them, hey, this hurt my feelings. Hey, this was not right. And so they had no idea. And so for them, they walked off, they left. And as I stated, this is not a twin flame. So this is a karmic lesson, guys, of how to express yourself. If not in the moment, go into your little crabby shell and do some crabby thinking and find a way to come out and state how you're feeling and why you feel betrayed or hurt or whatever it is that you're feeling and come right out and say, I'm not good at this. I'm, I don't express myself often. And I want to express to you that you've hurt my feelings or this hurt my feelings. But without making that offer, this person walked away. They didn't understand because you didn't speak that ultimate truth to them. You didn't tell them, hey, this is how I'm feeling. They had no idea. So that truth still needs to come out. And it could be that you still want to work things out with this person, but you're not gonna be able to do that, guys, until you're able to tell them, hey, you've hurt my feelings, and this is why, and this is how. There's a lot of frustration that builds up when you don't tell somebody how you're feeling. From the other person's perspective, there's a lot of frustration that builds up because they know that you're upset and you're acting different and you've gone in your shell. And with you guys, the harder it is, the harder they try to coax you out of your shell, the more you retreat. Now, is that really fair, guys, when you think about it? If you hurt somebody, wouldn't you want to know? Because you don't like being hurt. Cancers are very, very sensitive. And I know my Rachel is very sensitive and very kind. You don't like to be hurt. So... If you did something to hurt your significant other, you would want the opportunity to fix that, right? I'm asking you to learn how to afford them the same opportunity. And that's your lesson right now is learning how to speak either in the moment or maybe later that day or night or the next day when you feel you've cooled off or thought about what you wanted to say. I'm asking that you try to learn this lesson and I know it's not easy, but it very well may bring this partner back. Had you, again, here's the closed off crabby. Although this is generally the card of Pisces in my eyes, but Right now, I'm feeling like this is you guys. You're standing in your power, but you're not standing in the right way because you're not making that offer of, hey, this is what you did wrong. And can you do this to fix it? Or can we work on something, a solution to fix it? Had you done that, this would have made you really happy. You care about this person. Again, we have reunification it's a good possibility that you may reunify with this person, but it also talks about them not being in the twin flame status, but being in the soulmate status. And so had you made that offer of, hey, this is how you hurt me, things may not have ended the way that they did, and you may not see them um, when you're spying, um, having a new beginning and it may not be with someone else. It just may be that they're, they're starting over because they feel like they can't get through to you, which is sad because when someone does finally get through to cancer, it's very beautiful. You guys have a very beautiful love. Now seeing this in another way, this person just had to leave 
all of this work behind. This is a celebratory card. It's a card for celebration and victories and all of that kind of thing, going out with their friends and having fun, but they're not having fun. They're not going out. They're looking at this situation and they just want the truth on what they really possibly did to hurt you so much. And it's a good possibility, like I said, that this person will may take well to what you have to say. They care about you, but without knowing, they can't fix it. So really think about what I'm saying here, Cancers. They may be very, very susceptible. susceptible. I need to drink my coffee because this is, yeah, me and talking before coffee, it's not a good mix. Um, they'll be very susceptible to wanting to sit down and talk things out with you. And I think you know that, but your fear is putting out there what hurt you. Your fear is actually talking about it. But they're susceptible. The wheel of fortune is up here. And when you approach with that loving manner, I feel like they are going to be open to that. And it's going to create with nine of cups. I don't see this as somebody being um, overindulgent. I see this as somebody being happy. It's like they're in their glory because now they have all of these options to learn how to fix stuff with you. New things they can do, new things they can try with you, new things of getting back together and understanding you better. And so this isn't a card of overindulgence. This is a card of you coming back with that offer of love, or they may even come back. But it is imperative. And I can't tell you guys how imperative. It is absolutely 100% imperative that you tell people what is wrong with you when you are hurt. Nobody can guess. And they can't work on it or fix things with you if they don't know what they've done wrong. Give them the opportunity to fix things with you. And there'll be all these opportunities presented. And it's beautiful. Holding on to your heart, your soul, your mind, your body, your feelings, and everything is not the way to go. The Four of Pentacles talks about a card of possessing. You're possessing. You're possessing your feelings. You're holding on too tight to your feelings. And this person is frustrated at trying to figure out how to get through to you. You don't come out of your shell long enough for them to get to know you as a person. You don't come out of your shell long enough for them to figure out what they've done wrong. Now, even after they apologize, guys, you have to be willing to learn that letting go of that issue as well is healthy. Don't ruminate on it. Don't ruminate on, well, they hurt me, they hurt me, they hurt me, they hurt me. Yeah, they apologize, but they still hurt me and keep throwing it at them. And I'm not saying that's what you're doing. I'm saying watch out for that because it could be a possibility. But it's talking about here, you needing to open up. Yes, little crabbies, I said open up. We are all going through the most major lessons of our life right now, and we're going through it. I have to learn before to think before I speak and think before I jump. I'm a first to Canaries. I don't know anything about thinking before I do anything. But I've learned. So if I can do it, you guys possess an internal strength that no one else does. And you shield that strength inside your shell. Come out of your shell and show that strength. Come out of that shell and show your strength. Let go. 
allow yourself in the moment to feel, to talk, to put it out there and to clear it up and then let it go. But it's also warning you here that not only are you holding on too tight, you're paying too much attention to the material world. You're holding on too tightly to the material world. Now, I can double read this, but this is a positive message. I'll double read it for those of you who are watching that. That lesson pertains to every single one of you. Whether you like it or not, you can swear at me later because I'm right. You can write comments and swear at me and be like, you know, you suck, but you're right. And I'll take it. But right now is a reading of very um, important life lessons. We've got Pluto in retrograde, which means that you have to face your shadow self. You have to face the things about you that are wrong or that you dislike the most. We're all doing it. And it's saying here too that once you do that, there'll be a huge release for you. You'll have a huge release, an emotional release of, I don't have to balance all of this stuff anymore in my head, in my shell. My shell is stuffed. You guys have way too much burden stuffed in that little tiny shell. It's time to do your spring cleaning. All of the things that don't bring you closer to your divine destiny or your karmic lessons can go. All of those things that I talked about are possibilities that, um, that can, you can keep continuing to ruminate on. Get them out of your shell. It's a time for newness. It's a time for facing your shadow self, learning the lessons and getting rid of this. Getting rid of those burdens. Sweep your shell out. It's spring cleaning. Take that broom and sweep out your shell. Not only that, but getting rid of things that don't take you closer to your divine lessons. Too many things on your plate. Now, if I look at this another way, <clears throat> That lesson applies to every single cancer, but this talks about trying to lead a double life and being possessive, but not being good at it and being caught. So cancer, are you dealing with somebody who was trying to lead a double life and got caught or are you leading a double life and got caught? Now this could be cancer or your partner. I said that in the beginning, I'm going to continue to say it because some cross watchers aren't, don't really understand and they're new. So cross watchers, welcome to the Queen's Arrow B. If you have a question, we're all positive. We're all about helping. So leave it in the comments below and we will help you out as much as we can. Now I talk about this being in a relationship because it looks like somebody here was double dealing, but got caught because they weren't very good at it. It could be that too many lies were made up. And when you start making up lies, you start tripping over them. One lie needs another one to cover up that one, needs another one to cover up that one, and it just goes. That's why I believe in just utter, complete honesty right up front, whether it hurts people's feelings or not. I don't have time to remember lies upon lies. Not even just that. Me as a person, I'm a terrible liar. I'm like, no, I'm not lying. Yes, I am. Um, and I have a huge guilt factor. Like my conscience is major. I could never lie to somebody right to their face and then, you know, climb in bed with them. And this speaks to a long-term relationship or marriage. And I'm feeling a lot of you, this is marriage. So you may have had someone on the, on the other, on the side. And this is, again, a card. The chariot is seen by many as just the messenger, you know, the yes or no. But it talks about the light path or the dark path. And this man is asking you, which one do you want to follow? 
because he has the wand here of action. And at the tip of that is the star. He's offering you what you wish. Where do you want to go? And right now it's in the reverse. You need to go, if you notice the horses are facing two different ways, you're not gonna get very far until he uses this wand and this wish. Right now, they're telling you, number one, stop what you're doing if it's you going behind your significant other's back. And if it's not you, this is a warning to your partner, stop what you're doing. But this says right here that you're choosing to follow your shadow self, which is great right now. Pluto retrograde forces you to see all of the parts of yourself that are negative, that are not good, that are not kind. And it forces you to face it and fix it. Now you may feel like you're making blind decision here because you're facing your shadow self and you're not used to that. So you're making a decision here and here's the moon again. And it's like, well, I have secrets and I have this and I have that. You have to face them. You can't love someone else until you love yourself. And until you've mastered the art of loving yourself by facing your shadow self, sticking up for yourself in the moment, and telling people when they hurt you, there will be no new beginning. You will continue to stay here, which in a way is good, but at the same time, it's not. Because you're not learning this divine lesson and this, this lesson is major. This is a major, major time. We have about four planets in retrograde. I'm not gonna get into that because I don't have much time I have a reading. Um, but it talks about secrets and keeping them and not learning. And right now you're not being given an option. You're gonna face your shadow self whether you like it or not. And that's the whole zodiac. We're all facing our shadow self. You're right there with us guys. So, Jumping in your little crabby shell and running is not going to work for you. Face your shadow self. Learn to say how you feel in the moment. Hey, you know what? That's fucked up. You hurt my feelings and this is why. Either apologize or you can see yourself out of my life. You can do that. You have the option, guys. Stick up for yourself. Because you know what happens when you do that? Victory. And you go from being this closed off queen of cups to this really, really strong queen of wands. Notice she's facing that victory. She's facing her shadow self. This is you in your shadow self. They're saying if you go ahead and you learn these lessons instead of running from them, this is what you're gonna get. This is what you're gonna gain. You're gonna gain a strong sense of who you are. You're going to have learned a life lesson. You're going to learn when it is correct to open up your heart and when it's not. And you'll have gained victory over your self-worth. This lesson is all about your self-worth and knowing that you are worth telling people, hey, I'm hurt. Hey, you did this. Can we talk about it? Can we fix it? It's a major, major karmic life lesson for cancer not to do this. Jump in your little crabby shell, hop in your boat, take off. And no one ever knows what they did wrong to you. Instead, enjoy this victory because you're earning it. Guys, Cancer, you're earning this. Enjoy this victory because you gain 
from dealing with your shadow self. You gain self-worth and you come out as this strong fire queen, battle queen, who's ready for anything and anyone. Okay, so I've been talking for 30 minutes. That is the messages that the spirits are bringing in for you today. Remember, uh, we are running this contest of, um, you know, whatever video has the highest views gets a free reading from the comments. So pass on the video if you need a free um, reading. You know, leave a comment below and we will go in and choose who gets the free reading. If you need a personal reading, my email is in the box below. Please email me first. Do know that you do have to make your donation first in order to hold your appointment. With that being said, this is your girl Kelly coming straight at you from the Queen Tarot B in Boston. And if you guys need anything, again, email me. Now let's get that victory, Cancer. I'm proud of you guys. See you on the flip.